Hi, welcome to the module Python for Data Science. In the previous video, we learned about some operators like addition, subtraction, and less than, etc., and used them on constant values like 3, 5, true, nearage, etc. But you cannot always work with constants. Let me explain you why with the help of a scenario. Imagine you are working in a team of 6 people. Your friend noted down the salaries of all the people on the team and mailed it to you. He asked you to check if a female named Swati is earning significantly higher than the rest of the team. You open the mail and see some salaries. How should you verify whether Swati is earning higher or not when you do not know which of these numbers is Swati's salary? But it certainly would have been better had the mail contained the salaries along with the names of the people in the team. You may or may not have realized that you made use of names or variables to make a problem easier. So what are variables? Simply described, variables are names bounded to objects. Here, these arrows represent the variables and these are the constant values or the objects. Now since you know what variables are, how are these variables used in Python? Variables are first assigned a value and then it can be used in Python. So the general syntax is First comes the variable name, then the equal to sign, which is also called the assignment operator, and then the constant value be to be assigned to variable. For example, a equal to 5 is a variable assignment operation, where a is the variable and 5 is the value. Now that you know how variables are assigned in Python, it is better to know how variables are stored and how do they work in Python. Have a look at this assignment operation. So, for example, when you do something like i equal to 5, Python first identifies the type of the constant value. Since it is an integer, it creates an int object in the physical memory, store 5 in it, creates a variable called i, and binds this variable to this memory location or the object. Now, when you do something like j equal to i, such as this, so what basically it does is it binds j to the same location to which i is bound to that is this int object now when you do something like j equal to 3 what it does is it creates another object int object puts a value of 3 in it removes this pointer from here and makes it point to this new location so when you print i so still i is pointing to this object so in this case it will print i as 5 so this is how variables work in Python. Now that you know what variables are and how do they work in Python, the next step is to see the rules which need to be followed while creating a variable. Let's see them one by one. First, Python is case sensitive. Therefore, a equal to 5 and a equal to 5. The first one is a capitalized one and the second one is a smaller one are different. Second, variable names cannot start with special characters except underscore. So because of this, underscore sam equal to 5 is a valid variable name, but at the rate sam equal to 5 is invalid. Also, variable name cannot start with a number. So something like 9 sam equal to 5 is invalid. Now, a name once chosen, a variable can be used to store different types of data. So for example, a variable can contain an int data that is the integers numbers for example 4 minus 5 etc variables can also store decimal type numbers using the float data type so they can store numbers like 4.5 negative 6.7 etc bool data type facilitates storage of the boolean values that is the true and false we can use the str data type to store strings such as python in this case so this was all about variables and different data types in python in the next video, we will see the implementation of these concepts in Jupyter Notebook. Thank you.